Hello. Yes, that's right. No matter how hopeless it seems, we must continue with this fight. Right? We must. We have to. Right? You see, things are changing very quickly in this country. The by-election in Peterborough this Thursday is a... If the Brexit candidate wins, wow, that shows that the two-party system can be broken. And once it's broke, it will never be fixed again. But let's wait and see. Let's wait and see, because we've heard all this before. But I am confident that the Brexit guy doesn't win. Then there'll be other opportunities where we do win. Now, when I say when we do, Brexit party, Nigel Farage, populism, they're just laying the foundations for us for now. Right, I'm not a populist, I'm a British nationalist, right? But they're going to open the gates for us. And we've got to be ready to seize that opportunity. You see, will the Brexit party survive? Hope not hate search like the big boys in MI5. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. But Joe Owens' new political party will survive. Even if it's just me and it, right, for now, it will survive. And like I said before, I'm not planning for now. I'm planning for the future, right? When this country really, really starts coming apart, which it is now, we can see. Um, if my mouth gets a bit dry, you'll have to forgive me. I've been dry fasting the last two uh, days. Well, just under two days, I stopped at 38 hours. I was trying to get to 48, but I was in a bit of a mess. That's abstaining from uh, water uh, and food, right? You, you don't drop dead or die, trust me. You know, you don't. Um, bizarre experience, trust me, it is. I still get me cold showers. I still train. I still read and I'm preparing myself for the big fight ahead because there is a big fight ahead. Now, if you want to come and join me, more the merrier, right? But there is a fight ahead and I'm getting ready for it. I discipline myself now. I've uh, sacked a few bad habits and I'm, I'm getting really into this fight because I'm going to have to be fit and strong for it. So no matter how hopeless it seems, we must continue with this fight. And like the late great John Tyndall said, everything must be geared to the winning of power. Anything else is a waste of time. So watch this space. Okay, thank you. Our activity must be geared to the winning of power. That still has to be said to some people in our movement here in America, back in Britain and everywhere else. They are crusaders for the truth, but they don't relate it to the necessities of winning power. It cannot be said enough. Power is what must be won. First, just a little bit of power, then more power, and finally complete power. Activity geared to anything else is a waste of time.